Hey, welcome to Cow Free Kicks on this channel. I review leather free sneakers only, and today I've got an absolutely stunning drop from New Balance. It is the vegan New Balance 990 version 5s. Welcome to the channel. If you've not seen one of my videos before, I always start by reminding you that I look into five main things when I review a pair of sneakers. Then at the end of the video, I will be giving these New Balance 9950 V5 Vegans an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see as you're going along, please do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device. And if you haven't already and you wanna show some more support, please click the little subscribe button as well. Right, let's kick this review off as always by checking them out on feet first. Now these 990 V5s were originally crafted in 1978 and the silhouette shape really has not changed much since then. It's New Balance's first attempt at a running shoe and they've never before made a vegan friendly version of these older concept running shoes that they still make today with pigskin and leather. But this is a fully vegan friendly version. The glues, the materials, the fabrics, everything is vegan friendly. Now I know that might put some people off but really I cannot express how much quality there is in the upper for this shoe and how durable and long lasting I believe that this vegan leather upper that has this grained effect to it is really gonna provide you. Now that sat on top of this perforated mesh upper that you get in the toe box here and there and also towards the midfoot of the shoe. You've then got this reinforced plastic that runs through from the top of the lace loop towards the hardened heel cup. You've got a 3M detailed New Balance branding on the midfoot on both sides. As you move around to the back of the shoe, you've got a touch of glass there by making the V that appears on these 990 V5s green as part of the vegan experience of this shoe. Also, the insole, the Ortholite insole is green as well to mark that they are the vegan pair. As you move around to the inside of the foot, it's exact mirror image. You've got the hardened heel cup with some nice 3M detailing, the 990 detail on both sides. As you move towards the midsole of the sneaker, you've got the end cap system in the midsole, which you can see just there that's reflecting. It's the hardened plastic that's in the midfoot to provide extra support. You've got incredibly good grip on these, and it's a very hard wearing outsole, and it's very chunky. Now these traditionally are a running shoe, but I would say that with the weight and the amount of materials and the look that you get with these, they definitely translate more now these days as a lifestyle sneaker. And I just think looks wise, they look great. A really nice touch on the tongue as well is this American mirrored flag that you can see there at the top. I just think everything about these is brilliant. I just love the look. I wish I'd have worn some batter jeans in the on feet video, but I just think they look great and I'm so happy there's now a vegan friendly pair of 990s out there. Now I want to move on to their comfort to see how comfortable this midsole is. You can see from the step test that these made in the USA vegan friendly New Balance 990 V5s definitely offer a firmer ride underfoot than you might expect. But don't let that take away from the fact that I did find these very comfortable underfoot. I actually really enjoyed the firmer ride that these offer. I just found them very safe and secure and stable. You can definitely tell that the end cap system is there underneath when you're walking along. It does feel very secure. There's no real roll in your feet at all. And yet you do get quite a large chunky midsole with these. Even though they are firm, you do get nice bounce back in the heel and the midfoot. There's definitely not much responsiveness towards the toe but I just feel that that firmer ride isn't a bad thing sometimes, and I did actually enjoy it when I was wearing these around, especially when you couple that with how good this shoe feels on top of your foot. It just feels like you're slipping it into pillowed comfort. There's so much fine detailing, especially around the heel cup, the tongue, 
inside the shoe under this mesh detailing on the toe. You just get so much padded comfort on the top of your feet. And also the lacing system that's used here, because it's combined with this plastic on the sides that runs down the side of the shoe towards the heel cup, you get this really, really good stability that runs throughout. And I just found them such a secure and also comfortable shoe to wear. Now I wanna move on to their sizing. Now fit wise, I found these an absolute perfect fit. I am a perfect length UK size 10 and I do have feet that are slightly wider than average, but I found there was ample area in the toe box and also lengthwise. They do fit a bit snug, but that's just because of how much padding they've got in them. If you do like the more of a loose feel, I'd definitely go half size up, but for me, these fit nice and snug and perfect. Now I wanna move on to their weight where I'm gonna pop them on their scales. Tipping the scales at over 400 grams definitely puts these sneakers in their heavyweight category for me. If you're gonna wear these for their intended purpose, which is a running shoe, or for any athletic use, do take into account that they are gonna be on their heavier side. But if you're gonna wear these as a lifestyle kind of everyday shoe, and also if you are gonna wear them as a running shoe, just bear in mind that that extra weight is gonna be a good trade-off because these really are incredibly well made for me. And this possibly is the best vegan leather I've seen on any shoe ever. It just feels like it's gonna be incredibly hard wearing. And don't forget with this shoe as well, you also get the end cap support system in the midsole. You've got this firmer ride, which is less likely to give in over time, which does sometimes happen with the more cloud-like foams that you get these days. And also you've got an incredibly rugged grip. So over 400 grams, yes, it's heavy, but it will possibly have that longer lasting effect. And I don't mind it too much as a lifestyle shoe. And really, I don't wanna give them too bad a score in this section because I absolutely love them. Now I wanna move on to their breathability where I'm gonna pump them full of smoke and see how breathable they are. Pleasantly surprised by how breathable these 990 V5s are, just because what I find a lot with these retro runners, especially ones from that 90s, 80s, even the 70s, that they have so much material on the upper, and also these perforated areas normally have foam underneath them that really restrict the amount of breathability you get. But the perforated materials in the toe box here really did let the smoke escape in nice large amounts and quickly. Sadly, the toe box is the only area of the shoe that's gonna offer any breathability because the rest of the mesh material is covered up with this vegan leather. And when you move towards the back of the shoe where the mesh reappears, it's that additional padding in the heel area that's really gonna restrict the breathability. So they're definitely not the most breathable shoes out there at all, but they did offer more than I would have expected. Now I wanna move on to their price. Now these set me back 195 pounds, but I do not think that's gonna be the exact list price of these, just because I had to buy these from a European vendor and it came up in euros, so that was the exact like, transaction that happened on that day, that was the exchange value. They cost me 220 euros flat price. I don't really know what the US dollar price is gonna be at this time, to be honest, just because I found these incredibly hard to get hold of. Now, they were supposed to be released in the middle of November, but they've just been delayed everywhere. But for some reason, this Italian vendor is actually selling these at the moment. So I managed to get hold of a pair to review. Now, my overall score for these shoes is just gonna be five stars. And I know that's probably just because I love them. And it's probably not a really fair outcome compared to some of the other reviews I've done. But I just believe that New Balance making a vegan friendly version of one of their all time classic runners is a massive step in the right direction for the sneaker industry. It's more friendly for the planet. It's just, it's just a great way for New Balance to really showcase that they can make shoes that are gonna be long lasting and durable with vegan materials. And yes, they're definitely not the most breathable. The price is a bit high, but when you think about it, you're gonna get a shoe for life with these really. And they're definitely on the heavier side, but I just think looks wise and what they represent definitely deserves a full five stars. Now, if you've liked what you've seen today, please do not forget to give the video a thumbs up like button below. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want and drop any comments if you agree or disagree. Hope to see you again soon, bye.